asked Governor Parsons to grant this man clemency, to spare his life, and he is denied it. We are begging the Supreme Court to take action to spare this man's life. After pleading for mercy in the 11th hour, right now, Ernest Johnson is likely in a Missouri prison's death chamber. And breaking news right now, minutes ago, the U.S. Supreme Court denied a stay of execution, which means Johnson will die tonight. The 61-year-old killed three people during a Columbia convenience store robbery in 1994. Johnson's attorneys argue he has the intellectual capacity of a child and executing him is cruel and unusual punishment that would violate the U.S. Constitution. This afternoon, a crowd gathered outside St. Francis Xavier College Church in Midtown begging Governor Mike Parson to reconsider or for the Supreme Court to intervene. Congresswoman woman Cori Bush gave an emotional plea to spare Johnson. Someone who suffered severe brain injury and severe trauma from being sexually abused for years in his childhood. Somebody who this country already failed. Recognize your own humanity and what are you saying to our community members who are living with disabilities when you say that their lives don't matter enough for you to step in and save a life. Johnson supporters wanted his sentence to be changed to life in prison. Again, the Supreme Court has denied a stay of execution. His execution was set to begin at 6 p.m. Once that is completed, we'll update you.